Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a Nike Factory Store deals video. Went to the Nike Factory Store and shopped around. Saw these kind of crazy flannels. Uh, and then I saw $170. I was like, damn. $240 retail on these things. The other one was uh, pretty close in price as well. But pretty insane. Saw some really fun deals. Um, you guys probably have already seen the unboxing um, or the opening of these with the wife. But I got these for $79. Super nice discount on those Command Force. Retail is $200, um, and I know it's it's not a highly like sought-after sneaker, but it's definitely one of those ones that I love. And these ones are only $99, and I have a feeling they even go lower because they're just not in high demand. Another one that's one of the greats, in my opinion, uh, those 180s that I just showed you right there. And the price point was pretty low on those ones as well. These ones are only $35, um, kind of nice. And these are those ones, the um, Manoa or whatever. Uh, the black ones, this is kind of the ones that Drake wore in that that uh, music video or whatever. I think it's the Hotline Bling one or whatever. But um, these, uh, they actually have the actual colorway, and I'll show you guys that in a second. But the Air Flares, uh, interesting. I wasn't a fan of these ones back in the day, but these uh, these retroed, and I didn't even realize that. And uh, Air Bacons, these ones dropped down in price as well. Retail is 150 on the retro, and I think the those were like 80 bucks or something like that right there. And then so these blazers are like $45. Really crazy price point on these uh, as well. Lots of crazy uh, steals. Um, and then the back wall was 20% off, which was even better. So, um, And then these are the ones right there, the Manoa uh, leathers right here, the haystack color um, that you could see. And these ones were the factory stores last year for half price. I think they were like $40 bucks, um, or something like that. Uh, I remember I did some videos on that. So $90 bucks on those, pretty... Uh, like that's retail, so I'm not gonna pay that. But uh, seventy dollars for these AirTech Challenge uh, Quick Strikes. That uh, um, they had a couple different ones of those, and then these Air Raids as well uh, for fifty-five bucks. Pretty good price on these. I wish they would have done the piece ones from back in the day. These were twenty percent off of a crazy price. Seventy bucks retail, one hundred and fifty, which is what I paid on those, and uh, I believe that's what I paid on those. And uh, I mean, seventy dollars off of that, which is like fifty-five bucks or something. Trout twos they had on the back wall as well, and as you can see, the Mamba Curls as I just passed them um, as well. And then they had some Nike uh, SBs right here. I think this, I don't even know. I think those are the Canada ones or something like that. Um, and eighty bucks on those ones. And they had these. I couldn't believe they had these there. These are the BR ones, the Prestos, uh, the Quick Strikes, and one hundred and ten plus twenty percent off. They only had an extra large though. They didn't have very many um, other sizes. Some Tiger Wood golf shoes, as you can see from the TW on the back. I think Cousteau did a video on those. Um, I think he got gifted a pair. And then a blurry, mellow, and uh, crazy price that you can't see. Uh, these ones were like 80 bucks, I think, plus uh, the back wall 20% off. Vandal highs for 40 bucks plus the 20% off. Uh, I personally think the Vandals need to make a, a, a strong return. I uh, love the shoe from back in the day. It's like one. That's just less known than the, the Air Force One, but kind of a fun one. And those uh, Nike Dunk uh, lows, as you can see right there, they also had a very small amount of those ones. And some LeBron uh, 12 lows, the Entourage sort of colorway, uh, as you can see. And uh, the KD Lifestyle. I apologize for the blurry pictures. I'm like running through the store as I'm taking these pictures. Um, and so it's not always perfectly crisp and clear and then people look at me funny and they're like wondering what I'm doing and I'm just like I don't know this is weird so uh but yeah so that's why that is 20% off you can see on the wall and this is kind of me looking at the wall and uh this was probably the one and I ended up picking these ones up one a pair my size and 20% off of uh, a discounted price so I think I ended up paying like 150 for them uh which is pretty awesome uh Air Jordan 1 lows for 50 bucks the black uh, blackout like lows, not a bad price on those either. And then these CP3 eights were only forty dollars. I was like, dang man, like th that's like a, a pretty decent basketball shoe for forty bucks. Uh, Air Max ninety threes uh, for ninety dollars. I mean, you could buy two of those th those other ones. Are the get those Air Maxes for ninety bucks? It's just crazy. Air Max uh, STs they look kind of interesting. I don't remember these ones from back in the day. Uh, but it's an, an STMX. And these Air Jordan 29s, if you haven't had a pair of 29s, highly re recommend going to the outlet and picking these up. Uh, the 29s are an amazing sneaker. They're super comfortable. And those ones are only 100 bucks. normally $225. Uh, really, really good price. The same price as these Cortezes. It's like, seriously, those things are a crazy, crazy price. 
Uh, Air Max uh, 1 FB, uh, kind of a fun colorway of those, 80 bucks on those. And the Air Waffle Trainers for 60 bucks, and they look like kind of a nice colorway. Unfortunately, it was a little fuzzy picture, but a uh, nice red colorway there. And then the Air Future Lows, they had some mids as well, but the lows I saw here, they had a ton of the gray ones for 120 And then uh, another one that's kind of shocking, they had the OG uh, Low Tops for 99 bucks. And these didn't get any, any love either. I think that they needed to remaster them personally. They just weren't in very good shape. Uh, Air Jordan 1 straps in the bread kind of colorway, as you can see. And then the Air Jordan Mellow M11s for 80 bucks. This is that one that I showed you. But the one that I showed you was on the back wall. Um, so I'm curious how they do that. I wonder if they give you the back wall price or not. Because the ones in the rows that I'm showing you right here were not additional 20% off. Uh, they were just a sale price as listed. So, um, And then you can see the Zoom Soldiers. Uh, that's are here in that kind of black and cement sort of colorway 110 and I mean you can get those for 110 or you can get the flagship Jordan 29s or the LeBron flagship it's funny that the LeBron flagship model is is less expensive than the soldiers it just makes no sense to me whatsoever uh, Air Max I think 2000 whatever 13s some Hurley sandals had some nice cam kind of camo um, like soles on them that kind of fun uh, 40 bucks for those things though dang that's kind of an expensive sandal and air force one comfort low uh L comfort lux low uh really nice looking pair of air force ones really it has that little <laughs> the little wart leather on it for if you guys saw the other video that i did um these things look really really crazy i think these are golf shoes um yeah definitely interesting the way that that liner comes up but it's camo on the inside so i thought it was kind of rad um and then uh, they, they, oh, they were called the Lunar Abandon, I guess. I don't even know. 190 retail, dang. These look like multicolor um, freeze. And you can see up close, it has the same sort of multicolor colorways as the, the men's multicolor Flannet Racers. Because um, they kind of had the Easter-y look to them, which is the reason why I got rid of my pair. I really didn't like it when I got them in hand. Um, women's Dunk Sky Highs for 55 bucks, Normally 120 on those. Those ones are hit or miss with some chicks. So they don't really like the, the wedges on the back. And then they also have a premium um, uh, Air Force One with these kind of golf ball dimples for 50 bucks. Not a bad price, and I love the clear soles on those things. Um, pretty interesting looking sneaker you can see up close. It looks like a golf ball. I thought that was pretty pretty innovative, pretty fun. Uh, Women's Air Force One Ultra Force Mid. Interesting take on, on an Air Force One. Kind of looks like a slimmer down version, like almost like a dunk hybrid. Women's uh, Nike Shocks Junior, and these look like the R4s almost. Uh, as well which the r4s is one of my favorite shocks is back in the day and these look like air max 95s but they weren't obviously air max um and vigor prints uh like a cheaper model it seems like they had the baby j's check these guys out they had the the um 11s and they also had the seven hairs as you can see uh right here 40 bucks for the baby ones but i think i already have that color i have quite a few of the seven for the baby ones and then the aj ones as well and then they also had the kd um uh ones right there as well some old ones i ended up swooping up these ones for the wife they were in the men's section and check out the quality on them really nice looking sneaker uh this is a new york um colorway with the strawberry cheesecake and the, from the uh the quick strike city pack and i got them for 110 with uh 20 off they also have the cali highs uh again these things really sat on nike.com for a long time 90 bucks plus the 20 percent. and then they also had uh these guys right here for only, um, actually, I don't know what the price uh, was on the Moabs. Uh, it was a pretty decent price, I think. Uh, we had 140 plus a 20% off, so definitely a good steal on that one. Sneaker boots, some SC trainers, and then there's just a couple more pairs to round out uh, this this uh, video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. I definitely try to make my uh, I mean, there's some Air Force One, the OG kind of colorway. Um, I try to make my my trips to the the Nike factory store every month at least. Uh, but hopefully, you guys liked the video and thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace.